lovelies, it's Emily and this is my channel Painful Hilarity. I hear you guys. I have a hair in my mouth. I underestimated how much you guys enjoy listening to my random babble and the hot me messness of me every day and um, I hear you guys. Just, I want you guys to know that I hear you. I miss you guys daily. Um, I filmed like so much stuff for you guys and I film it. There's a certain way that I film stuff that's just gonna be unedited. I never watch it again. I just post it up and that's that. And there's a way that I video things that I know that I'm going to edit and that, that stuff that would be weird like right now I'd just be like, okay, edit here. Like I talked myself in it and I'll be like, edit the last pack part out. I'm gonna do the ending now. Like it's just weird. So I wouldn't be able to upload that stuff. I'm just finding it a lot harder to edit stuff than I originally did. I thought with having more time and not doing daily vlogs that I would be able to do it but I'm really not because it all really depends on how I'm feeling and that hasn't changed so but I do hear you guys saying that you guys miss me and I miss you guys like crazy it's really sucks not talking to you I actually got pretty depressed um, there for a while kind of like figuring out what I would do with my days and whatnot but um, so I am just going to chat with you more often. I don't know if it will be daily, but just when I feel like I have stuff to talk to you guys about, I'll just do unedited little videos for you guys, and that's that. Uh, I've been struggling with headaches the past couple days. Probably been the weather. It's been, like, kind of rainy off and on here. Um, I don't know why. Not migraines, just headaches. Um, thank goodness. And, uh, what else did I have to tell you guys? Oh, so, I, I know, I posted this on Facebook, but, and Diana said that my medical insurance would cover it, but I don't have medical insurance, I just have Medicare? I always get them confused. I think it's Medicare for disability. Um, I used to have both, but then they upped my, um, disability by like $50 or like $47 and now I'm like I don't qualify and I'm like seriously um but I don't think that they will cover okay let me get into the story since for those of you that probably aren't on my Facebook or didn't add me or whatever but anyways um I had my tooth removed as everybody knows and so we called to get the estimate for how much it would be to have the surgery to have um, everything put back where it needs to be and to have an implant and possibly bone graft and whatever else they needed to do to repair things in there um, and they let us know that I have to do a CT scan before I go back or they can give me an estimate so it's four hundred dollars for the ct scan and i don't think that i don't know i'm it would be great if it did but i really don't think that they would pay for that because well one i'm perfectly fine without a tooth like i mean mentally and physically i'm not okay with it but like I'm not gonna die without a tooth so I don't know if they will pay for it because I think it is still considered cosmetic although I do kind of need it to eat but I mean I could wear this forever I don't know but I am hoping that they'll pay for that initial surgery because that was emergency surgery because like for example I mean, it would have been like a longer process, obviously, but if they hadn't taken my tooth out, I would have died because I had an infection and that would have spread to the rest of my body and that's like, you know, in the olden days how they died. Uh, but now it's $3,000 for glorified taking my tooth out. I mean, he did an amazing job and an amazing surgery and everything, so I don't want to like discredit him for that, but in the end, essentially... I'm without my tooth. That's pretty much it for three thousand uh, dollars. They did cover my ho uh, hospital costs though, 
So that was really awesome because that was like thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, I think we had to pay like $50 or something. But yeah, I don't know if they'll pay for a CT scan too for an implant. I think that's like above and beyond. But the thing is, it kind of has us over like, I don't know what the saying is. He has this in a hard spot because he's so freaking good and I trust him and with things like this, especially with my anxiety and everything, I just, like even with him doing it, I've just been really low key, I've been sleeping a lot, I don't know why that is actually, but I have been and I've just been trying to keep it really dark in my room and just snuggle with Bella and keep very as calm as possible because I know that this is coming up and I know that I'm going to have to have this surgery and I know that it's not going to be as even as close to what it is extensive as what I had before but I don't know what my fibro is going to do I don't know what my migraines are going to do like I don't know what's going to happen so I've just been trying to be as low-key as possible and then as much as my parents try to keep the financial aspect like um they try not to put it on me like this is so much and this is really a strain on us I know and I know when it's being a strain so um, you know we talked about the CT scan and it's just really hard because I looked at my dad and I'm like I would feel really 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 terrified to go to somebody else that like was less skilled and didn't do my first surgery either like I don't know what he did in that first surgery I mean obviously like I think that they would communicate with each other but like he just knows and like I know when he goes back in there he'll know where there might be scar tissue or where he did um, where he inserted like certain things to drain the infection and I just really trust him as well because he's very decisive and that's what I need especially with my anxiety because I'm like you tell me what you would do if this was your face like and that's what I want to do I'm not one of those people that's like okay give me all of my options and then I'll choose one like I'm like no like I need my doctor to know what they're doing and then like go forward um so you know my dad was like let's just go because I want to be in Florida for the entire three months that it takes for it to heal because I have no idea if it like will set off another infection or anything like that and I want to be with my surgeon who knows me who knows medications I need I mean not medications but like the stuff to sedate me because I know that they had to use more than they usually do just things like that and like I just want to be with him I just want to be with him. I mean, I really have a lot of trust and faith in him and did such a wonderful job of my surgery before that it was just really hard not to stick with him. Um, it's just the way I feel like about my, you know, just my regular doctor. Like, I don't like when I have to go to a different doctor, you know, if she doesn't have an opening that day and I really need to get in or something. Um, but that just like, Someone usually gives me like antibiotics that terrifies me so this is someone actually like putting me to sleep and doing some sort of surgery on me so I think that we'll just go through my mom scheduled the CT scan so I'll go just go do that I think it's I don't know I don't I've never had that before but I think it's it's like a it's like an x-ray pretty much and then um, then I guess they'll give us an estimate and then I, we, I know we have to pay before we get it done because that's how my um, emergency surgery was. Um, like credit card died up. Uh, it's just, it's really frustrating because it's so hard. I mean, not that I would have been able to pay for this when I was working because I didn't pick a job that was paid that much money like that. But to not be able to like, give like put any money toward it it's just really frustrating and I mean I have my money that I get but it's stupid to like give it to my parents because my parents will just end up having to pay for 
my medicines or when I go to the doctor or something. It's just like passing money back and forth. It's stupid. But I hope I just hope that that goes well. And so I've just been trying to keep everything else like at a minimum because I'm just trying to like relax my body as much as possible, not stress it because I don't want to have to like be going into a fibro flare and surgery at the same time. Not that I have any control over that, but there are some things that I can do to just try to relax myself a little bit. But I've been making this little, it was a baby blanket initially, but I think I'm going to make it more of like a play rug. It's going to be like this and it's going to have like fringes coming off of here. And it's going to have another, well, it's going to have a couple more rows of this color. And then it's going to have more cream, another cream panel on this side. But the cream yarn is pretty much the only one that's, like, very baby. Because there's, like, specific baby yarn that you can use. Um, but this is, like, just, it's soft still, but it's just harder. Like, I don't know. But it's, it might, might, might be nice for, like to bundle them up or to put over um I like I'm just been watching so many British shows lately what is that called a pram but like a baby like I'm, I'm like what is that called in in like America <laughs> a pram anyways because I can't I can only think of the British word for it or what they call it um and oh freaking okay so over Christmas, before I, when I sent all my presents out to my friends, I sent a gift to Lindsay, and she never received it. <laughs> and so it was this big ordeal, and I had to find it, and it took forever to get back to us. And it finally got back to us, and I made specifically sure to let my mom know that like Lindsay's not with her parents anymore. It's not Christmas break anymore. I need an address sticker so that I can make you an address st sticker for it. And she sent it back to her parents. So now I guess her parents are going to have to send it to her. She's just never going to get this present. And it was her Christmas and birthday present together. So, I mean, I sent her, like, a little Amazon gift card because I wanted her to have something to, like, at least open or whatever. But And my, parent, my mom sent it out, and I didn't have her birthday card in it either. So, fantastic. But that's just how communication goes. Um, I was going to show you guys the latest, see this is what happens when I don't talk to you guys, I have so many random things to talk to you guys. Then I painted, wait is this the way it goes? No it goes this way. I painted this with the crayons that you got me. These work so much nicer than the Sharpies for this because the Sharpies just kind of all go together. And I started on this one. It's going to be like sunflowers, which I'm really excited about. Because my dad got me um, colored pencils. I don't really like them that much. They're kind of hard to use. And they like kind of like, I don't know if you can tell how they're kind of junky there. Not my fault because I colored it perfectly. But they're fun. And they have to like press really hard too. So my hand kind of gets after a while and they also got me my favorite candy I don't think I've ever told you guys this that this is my favorite candy but yeah those Nestle 100 grams and he found them in like six packs I've only seen them in ever in the like candy bar form but these are delicious they're car they're chewy caramel milk chocolate and then crispy so it's pretty much like a caramel chocolate with it's like a Nestle's Crunch Bar combined with heart of and caramel. I don't know. It's just what it says it is. But it's delicious and I love them. And the caramel is like what I really like. Even Milky Ways, I don't like the caramel in there. It's too thin, like smooth. I like it more like 100 grams. You more have to like chew it. Yeah. So he got me those too, but... What else? I am going to do a room tour for you guys. Unedited. Because if I, if I don't, if I do it edited, it'll take forever. But I just have 
this part of my room is this part from here over is organized and looks really freaking cool but this part over is not so I just have to do that and then I can show you guys my room all organized and cute so that's all I had to talk to you guys about at least right now that's on my mind I'm sure I'm gonna think of 50 million things as soon as I get off of here but um yeah hope you guys are having a pain for your free day and I love you guys so much and in the comments down below let me know how you are feeling and let me know what the weather is like where you live because I'm very curious about that because I think like yesterday or something the wet the it was as cold here as it was in where I live in North Carolina which is like super duper weird usually it's at least 10 degree difference here and there but anyways yeah so in the comments down below let me know what the weather is like where you're living and how you're feeling so um I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon mm -hmm.